Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to another uh, walkabout here where I've committed to covering as many of the streets here, well all of the streets here as possible. Uh, if you watched the last video, you'll know why I'm sat next to my mate here. He hasn't moved an inch since I last finished the video and uh, he's still, still not talking to me, which is really disappointing. I've been giving him a nudge and everything, but anyway, ain't happening. All right, so today we're at the very beginning of Soy 6 on Beach Road. We're gonna walk up there, talk about all the bars, and uh, we're gonna head up to the second road, go back along down Soy 6 1, praying that they're all asleep, uh, and uh, we'll just take it from there. So that's what we've agreed to do. If you're not sure about the series, um, what I stupidly said I would do is that I would cover every single soy here and give you a soy by soy breakdown of what's in every single place. Man, that is a mammoth task, far bigger and harder than I actually realized. Anyway, I'm not getting much luck out of my mate here, so I thought, well, let's go, let's crack on, let's go see what's going on. All right, let's go and check out Soy 6. Okay, so we're right down here on the beach and uh, outside McDonald's, walking up now, and uh, here's another exchange booth. And up there, you can see there, a lot of these places are closing now. Look, it's very, in fact, let's have a quick look up here. Now, these are the backs of uh, all the uh, bars that you see in Soy 6. It looks like an old shanty town, doesn't it? So uh, if you are partaking and you need to go upstairs and have a, a lay down and relax, that's what, that's what you're looking out of. And uh, up there, there's another hotel. I'm not sure what that one is, to be honest. Anyway, that's the back of Soy 6, very colorful. Reminds me of a back street in like uh, one of the Spanish uh, ghettos. <laughs> right, all right, let's go do it. Lovely day today, look at that, beautiful. Beautiful. So Soy 6. Well, this soy should need absolutely no introduction whatsoever. Uh, it's probably one of the most famous soys here, to be honest, and certainly one of the most well-known. And uh, here, oh, sorry fella, not sure, there's a, it says China Tobacco Shandong Industrial Co. Limited. Uh, Chow, Chow Mu Tai. Oh, well, what the hell that is. But anyway, enough about that. You know what this is. There you go. How many of you have been to Soy 6? And if you haven't, when you do come over here, you've got to get yourself up here. It really is a fun soy. And the nice thing about what we're doing now is uh, I like to cover these when it's not open. And I'll tell you the reason why. You probably think, you say, well, that's stupid because you can't see all the girls and stuff like that. The point being is I don't want to be in that situation where there's music playing, there's customers in the bars, there's girls running around. You know, all you got to do is use your imagination and just trust me that this is a fun soy. And I'll explain as we go up. I'll explain some of the bars that I know that I've got a good knowledge of. Uh, but you know, if you want to find out about each bar, they have Facebook pages. We have a lot of the girls in Discord. And here's a nice breakfast here, look, 149 bar. There you get Italian coffee or tea, orange juice, toast, marmalade, butter, baked beans, two eggs, sausage, ham, bacon, and potatoes. So I'll come down here to Marco's, to Mama's Cafe. Go and see Marco, lovely guy. Mama's Cafe. So, soy six, what's it all about? Well, basically, it's one of the soys that put uh, Patea's nightlife scene on the map. And uh, it's a huge network of bars. And we're gonna go through one, so Dole's in Soy 6. That used to be fantastic. Um, they've got three places now. They've got one in Soy Bacow, they've got one in uh, Walking Street. This was their first place. It took off, it was a real success. And you'd go in and basically there was a few podiums where the girls would dance. You could sit around the uh, podiums or sit on the soft chairs and uh, the girls would come and join you. It wasn't overpriced either, it was, it was good pricing. Um, but yeah, that's uh, Dole's. Next door to it, La La Land. Uh, go and see Chris, he's the owner, lovely guy, really, really nice guy. Uh, it's a single unit, they normally have about 10 to 15 girls in there. Again, it's a, a drinking place, go in there, sit down, a girl will come and join you, and uh, you can enjoy the evening. So, we've got a lot of bars here, uh, Kalea Bar, and uh, all these other ones that you can see here, Love 66, the Sandman Sports Bar. Across on this side, you've got Wrath, Avaris, Envy, Passion, Seduction. These bars, each bar is pretty much same same but different same same in the concept as in they're open bars you can sit there have a beer and uh, you'll be in no you'll be in no worry about finding company and uh it, it's a good vibe it's a good vibe in its day my lord this place was busy uh, over the last two years obviously it's been hit very hard as you can imagine 
Um, but there are a lot of girls here, even right now, right now as we speak. You come out here of an evening and uh, I can honestly tell you, you will not be lonely. And uh, Kuda's Bar, that again, Kuda's Bar, that's uh, another one of Chris's bars. And of course you've got the Nightwish group down here, Brian. I believe there's 24 bars, I think it is, they've got. Um, and they're networking the, uh, all the bars together. And it's a good vibe. If you come down here mid-afternoon, aim to get here around about three o'clock. Most of the girls will be here by then. And uh, you can enjoy yourself. And some of these bars are open. We'll just put the camera and show you what the layout is. And uh, well, what's she making there? The deep. Oh, great talk up. Oh, look at that. Yeah. yeah, she's busy doing her work, bless her. Thank you. So yeah, let's have a look. Here's Playpen. So you can see in there the, the format. These are all the same, similar bars. So you've got lots of stalls, lots of bar areas. You can sit down there and the girls will come and join you and they'll come and uh, say hello and have a drink with you. And one of my favorite places up here, we'll uh, have a look at in a minute. So you've got nature bar, hot shots. There's a lot, even a hairdresser. So if you want to get your hair done, you can nip in there. And you can see now that early morning, all the girls in there getting their hair done. One, two, three, there's four girls there getting their hair done. If you want to make some money in this city, open up the hairdressers in the girly area. My Lord, printing that money. Incidentally, while I'm walking up here, I mean, we're past all this baby cool bar and uh, all these different illusions, chili bar. Which, uh, which is your favorite bar? If you do come to Soy Six, What's the bar you would recommend? Just drop the name. Please don't go into too much detail. Which, good morning, somebody cap. Uh, please don't go into too much detail. Just drop the name. Uh, in your opinion, which is uh, your favorite bar? Where Angels Play, Kawaii Bar. Hello. Good morning, Butterfly Bar. Solo Club, Ruby Club. And a lot of these places, uh, what they also do, they're very active on our Discord group. And they do post their daily lineup. Uh, they'll post individual photos of the girls as well, so you get to see which girls are working in what bars. This one here, Spider Girl Bar. Uh, it's a double unit, absolutely my favourite go-to place. Two pool tables, great fun, girls are good laugh, and uh, definitely recommend that one. Uh, you've got Hero Bar, there's, there's so many, so many. Oh, I'm okay, thank you boss, thank you very much. Uh, you've got Desire here. You can find us at Lust on Soy 6, so they're just uh, networking at the moment. And one place that has stood the test of time. And it's, uh, oh, it's, it's just been a very, very popular place. And it's this place here on the right hand side I'm going to show you. The Queen Victoria Inn, in there. Now if you want, you can stay there. Uh, I personally, as an individual, wouldn't probably uh, relish that thought because it's very noisy here. But you can stay there. And uh, today's special, let's have a look. Today's special is breaded cod. Burger, chips, salad, tartar sauce, or chicken and mushroom pie with chips, peas, and gravy, 159 baht. Now, one thing I can tell you is that their food is very good. It's a very, very well-respected place here. Been here a long time, and uh, the food is very, very good. A few more bars here, the Offshore Bar, Exotica, Sexy in the City, Soho Bar. Yeah, they're all starting to open up, ready to clean and start getting themselves ready. This afternoon, the girls will come in. And even right now, right now, even as we're walking around, don't be fooled by these people that have not been here, that are doom and gloom merchants, that are saying to you, the city's finished, the city's over, nothing's happening. Ignore all that, ignore all that, it's rubbish. Come out here, guys, I promise you, 100% you will have a great time, 100%. And uh, don't, be, uh, don't be lulled into thinking that you're gonna come here and there's, there's nothing going on, because I promise you, it really is. So get yourself out here, guys. Get yourself out here. Now, another one of my favorite places, Obar. And uh, had a particular favorite girl that was a good friend of mine. We'll leave that there. Back in the day when I first came out here, really good fun in there. Really, really good fun in there. And uh, well worth popping into. And my good friend is no longer in there anymore. She's now a, a departed past friend. Hey ho. And another place. Now this place, I've got to give them a shout out. Good fellas. They've worked really hard to build up a good selection of uh, a, a good girls. Uh, you know, they've got a lot of girls in there. It's a good vibe, nice owners, and uh, really it's fun. So again, you know, when you get off the BART bus, remember the BART bus stops just here at the top. 
the first bar down here on the, on the right hand side, good fellas. Go in there guys and say hello. And uh, mention buzzing, just mention buzzing. And honestly, they're lovely. And the girls will take great care of you. And across the road here, there you go. Oh, no, that was no need for that, was it? You just give her a heart attack, bless him. Hey. So there's the corner bar. Uh, corner bar, again, a place that needs no introduction whatsoever. And uh, this guy's having a go at them because they're stood there on the corner. So he's, he's had a go at those ladies and they've just said, keep going. <laughs> I'm not getting involved in any of that. And that's a good point, guys. Never get involved in other people's business. <laughs> so uh, that's the corner bar there. Uh, go in there, sit down. You'll meet lots of expats and uh, you'll enjoy yourself there. And this man, he's selling his food. So what do you have? Oh, me rot, John. Beep, 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 am I? There you go. He's... Oh, thank you. Come away, mate. Oh, okay, cap. Okay. Oh, look at that. oh, there you go. That's one of my favourites. Look at that. Look. Oh man. Right, I better get out of that way before I get me. Have a good day, boss. Somebody cap, somebody cap. All right. So he's there. So there you go. Have a look back down. That is soy six in all its glory. And I promise you, come down of an evening, man, you will not be disappointed. Mid afternoon, not an evening. Mid afternoon from three o'clock onwards. Uh, good to go. All right, so let's run the gauntlet. Now, Soy 6-1 uh, is one of those places that, uh, <laughs> how do I say? All right, well, let's just get to the chase. It's a lady boy soy. Okay, so you come down here. Oh, what the hell? Man, when did that, hold on. What's going on here? Look at this. Look at this. That's outrageous. And I kid you not when I say this, I had no idea this was even here. What's going on? What's this called? There you go. Oh, it's called the uh, D Beach, Patea Discovery Beach Hotel. And it's just open. Look at that. See, I have to say, as much as I am regretting all this uh, foot slogging I've got to do, I love it because it's, it's just updating me on this city. And uh, I never realized that was open. That's always been under construction, but it's way open. See, I told you the last time I came down here, Anyway, right, let's go down there. So this is the other side of Soy 6 on the other Soy 6 one. There's a corner bar in there. Great place. And uh, they have lots of stuff on here. Look, you can have a look at this. There you go. Fill your boots on that one. They play a lot of sport, all the sports there. And uh, it's a good place. Come and say hello. You'll have a nice time there. It's kind of like a warm-up bar to then heading down and uh, going off and doing your thing. Now, we need to be a bit, uh, a bit sensible just for five minutes. If you do, if you do come down here, let me be honest with you guys, okay? I, it is a lady boy soy. And the lady boys will be friendly, but they can also be, uh, what's the word, very highly strung. So be very careful if you start to get into a situation where perhaps, perhaps, you might be thinking it's funny to have a joke and you want to be silly with them. Some of them won't take it that way and you will end up in a possible problem. So please, please, don't, don't, you know, don't, be, don't be put off by coming down here. If you want to come down and walk down and just have a look, be polite, you know, if they approach you and it's not your thing, I'm okay, thank you, and just keep walking. Don't try and be funny and start acting the fool because trust me, they will think nothing of taking their stiletto off and reminding you that you should be a bit more respectful. We'll leave that there. But anyway, aside from that, uh, at night time, this soy is very, very dimly lit. There's uh, virtually no street lighting. And what happened, you see all these places we're walking past? Uh, the girls will either sit on the side here, on the left-hand side, they'll just sit on chairs and they'll wait for you to come up, or they'll sit inside the doorways of the bars here on the right-hand side. And then as you walk past, they will uh, entice you is the best way. They will entice you to come and spend some time with them and part with some lovely hard-earned cash. But as I say, it is a bit of fun, definitely a bit of fun, but please just be aware of the situation and uh, just be very respectful. If it's not your thing, no dramas. Nobody is gonna say anything about it, but uh, and don't stitch your mates up. I've seen this happen before as well, where people have goaded their mates on maybe their mate was it's their first time here they didn't realize what they were letting themselves in for and uh of course when they've realized 
they've kind of like reacted a little bit more than just surprised and unfortunately I've seen a few incidents where it's all gone pear shaped and uh, it's kicked off so uh, please if you are going to stitch your mate up just be a bit more careful uh, another block there I'm not sure that's quite I think that's a chic I think I think it is we'll have a look maybe the name's down further on uh, so yeah so just be careful guys that's all I'll say but you know what I've got to say uh, we've done some uh, we've done some some days out where we've been to some of the ladyboy bars and I've got to be honest with you, it's a great laugh. You know, they're really good fun. They really, really are good fun. And uh, very animated, very boisterous, uh, very um, full on, I suppose is the best way of saying it. But uh, yeah, good fun. Anyway, like I say, don't stitch your mate up, please. Because uh, if you react the wrong way, trust me, it ain't gonna end well. And this lady up in front, she's taking her jumper off. Maybe she's going to get ready to give me a right hook. <laughs> I know, she's going to get onto her bike, I think. I know, we'll go say hello. Let's go see. Maybe she'll say hello, maybe she won't. I don't know. It's, uh, it's one of those sisters that either hide and look away, in which case we won't talk to her, or maybe she'll say hello. Let me see. Let's see what we can do. Who knows? And if it goes wrong, this might be the end of our walking tours. <laughs> Let me ask. Let me ask. No, so right, so that's that's the indication. Okay, so when they stand away, and uh, they don't want to look at you, that's because they don't want to be on camera, and I respect that. No problem. All right, so we're coming down now to Beach Road, and uh, to the end of yet nearly another. We haven't even scratched the surface, have we? Uh, when I think about it now, we're at Soy Six. That's ridiculous. Soy Six, and we've done what's it now? Four, four videos, and we're at Soy Six. What are you guys doing to me? You're gonna kill me. I really am gonna struggle to do this. Uh, here you go, Om. This seems to be a bit of a, fa a, a, a big phase at the moment. There's lots of these around. I'm not really into it myself. Don't really know how it all works. Don't know what it contains. Obviously what it looks like it contains, but I don't really know. Not my cup of tea, not my bag. And uh, here you go, if you wanna rent a motorbike, P10 Travel, here you go, there's a telephone number for you. There you are. Hello boss, how are you? Uh, here's Yellow Massage. So if you have had a busy day and you need to relax, come down, they got the lovely big chairs. I like those chairs. Someone, and that's a quick point there as well, before you go into a, into a massage place, look through the window and check out what kind of chairs they got. If you get one of those really uncomfortable chairs, trust me, it's a massage meal. Yeah, look at that, four people in there, look. <laughs> Brilliant, fair play. All right. And uh, I'll tell you what I will show you. I'll show you this. People often ask me, what are these machines for? So when we have floods, they suck out all the water from down in here, down there, they suck all that water out. And yes, you can see where it goes. And that, my friends, is the answer to why we say maybe, just maybe, you don't want to be swimming out there. And if you go over to John Tien, to Pratton, you go up to Naklua, over to Naklua. Uh, they're much nicer beaches, better area, but much cleaner water. You, How you doing, buddy? Oh, thank you very much. Nice that's, very... Patio, that's me, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Adib. Thank you. Keep it up, keep it up, thank you very much. Have a great day, buddy. Have a great day. That's nice of you. Gentlemen just said hello to me there. So, uh, so yeah, there you go. That's the beach. Have a good look at that. Nice. But like I say, look at these blue tubes. And it's not rocket science to work out where the water's coming from to where the water's going. So uh, take that on board. Bear that in mind, my friends. Bear that in mind. Okay, there we are. Let's spin around. Woohoo! All right, so we've only gone and done it. That's uh, Soy 6, Soy 6 1. We are going to continue 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to keep going, rock and rolling. And uh, who knows? By the end of it, I might have lost about 50 kilos. <laughs> Who, who knows? All right, let's drop that in the background. Beautiful, look at that. That's it for me today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, please keep your comments going. If you think that this Soy by Soy series uh, that is gonna take me a long time, uh, I'll tell you what we do. Dan, don't tell me I don't take one for the team. Hang on. Let's have a look. Why don't we go over here and let's look at the food, shall we? 
I haven't showed you this food place. Look at this food here. See this food? Lovely. Really nice. There we go. Look at this. So they sell food there. Really, really nice. And uh, yeah. Are you hungry? Fancy some food, guys? All right. I'll tell you what. Let's go back over there. And uh... <laughs> oh, my good Lord. Right. So that was the food stall. <laughs> As we were saying, if you think these series are boring and you don't want me to do every single soy, just let me know, I'll happily change it. <laughs> oh dear. All right, now we started off with my mate Ronald. He's still there, he hasn't moved, so we'll leave him to it. We'll put him in the background, there he is, he's still over there sulking. He needs to get himself down the road here and pop down that food stall, that looked pretty good. All right, so that's it for me today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, like I say, we'll keep going unless you think it's boring, in which case we'll just bin it off. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to keep walking. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please, as always, remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Uh, check out our Discord area. Like I say, all those bars in uh, Soy 6, a lot of them post the daily lineups of their girls in there so you can see who's working and where. And uh, have a look in Discord. It's completely free, over 15,500 members now. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel and the work that I do, uh, please, there is a link in the description below. Check it out. Membership starts from as little as 89 pence a month. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. And please, as always, wherever you are, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.